possible sentence tonight for a man convicted of shooting and killing a New York cop. But that verdict is sparking outrage by other officers because the jury found him guilty of second degree murder, not first degree. This would have put him away for life without parole. I would introduce reporter N.J. Birkin at the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn with our story. N.J. And Bill, not just the officer's fellow officers, the officer's family clearly wasn't prepared for this. Yes, the gunman will get 25 years to life in prison, but it is not necessarily a life sentence. For the officer's ex-wife and four daughters, the verdict was clearly a shock. Lamont Pride could be eligible for parole after 25 years in state prison. The city's PBA president was outraged. Beyond a reasonable doubt does not mean put common sense out the window. Carry the gun, pull the gun, pull the trigger, kill the great man. Officer Peter Fagoski was shot and killed after responding to an armed robbery in 2011. Five men robbing a drug dealer in a dingy apartment in East New York. Officer Fagoski was shot in the face after he and Pride literally stumbled into one another in a dark basement stairwell. Prosecutors insisted Fagoski was murdered in cold blood as Pride tried to escape. But in his videotaped statement to prosecutors, Lamont Pride insisted that the gun went off by accident. Defense attorney James Koenig. It doesn't take much. Uh, when you're running up the stairs, the gun goes off accidentally every year. NYPD, we look up the statistics, and they have accidental discharges of their own, even in the uh, ballistics lab. So guns are inherently unsafe. 20 plus years on the job for Officer Fagoski, several commendations, but that was the argument that apparently turned this case. If Lamont Pride had been convicted of the top count, aggravated murder, parole would have been out of the question. Clearly tonight, it is not necessarily out of the question. Uh, tonight, downtown Brooklyn, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. NJ.